welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Today's episode, I want to start off by saying a big thank you. Thank you so much because I have reached over 1,000 subscribers. Yay! And I'm so excited. I'm so happy and I'm so glad people continue to watch my videos and share them and comment in the comment section. Thank you so very much. Um, so um, about two weeks ago, I thought it would be a nice idea to um, do a Q&A. It's my very first Q&A. I haven't done a Q&A before, so please let me know what you think. Um, and I told you to send in your questions. Um, I told you they could be either personal or art related, and I told you I would do my best to answer them. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got quite a lot of questions, and, um, and today I will be answering them. Okay, so um, let's start off. I just kind of jotted them all down um, on a piece of paper. So I'm just going to go through each one. First question. Where are you from? Um, a lot of people ask me this question. This is actually the most asked question. Where are you from? Okay, so I am from a country called Bahrain. If you have not heard of it, uh, please look it up. It is a small country in the Middle East. Um, so yeah, so check it out and um, I guess people always look at me and they think oh she's got an English accent, she wears a headscarf, not quite sure where she's from, so now you know. Next question, does art cost a lot? Well yes, it can cost a lot It'll, or it can be very cheap, it really depends on you know the artwork you are buying. If you're buying um, artwork from a well-known artist that has exhibited in galleries um, of course if it's an established artist um, it's going to cost a lot more if it's um, you know if it's just a, an art piece that um, has been mass produced that you just want to kind of um, buy and hang in your home to make your home a bit more artistic then of course of course um, it's going to cost a lot less so it really depends you know what artwork you buy Third question, why did you decide to study art at university level? Well, I, I did mention in some of my social medias that I um, did art up to university level. So I did do, um, a degree, I did finish a degree in art. And um, a lot of people want to know what made me kind of decide to, to do that. And it's simple, it's my love for art and um, of course you want to do something that you you have a passion for that you love and that you can see uh, you know yourself um, doing long term so something that you want to work towards your dream your career so that's kind of I had a kind of goal that I knew that I wanted to do art uh, for the future so that's why I decided to study art at university level do you require a lot of space to be an artist well, yeah, you might require a lot of space to be an artist if you want to make large pieces, if you want to work sort of at a larger scale. But if you want to kind of create smaller pieces, you, you don't obviously need a lot of space. It's it's not really about kind of um, just making the artwork. It's about storing the artwork as well. So if you are a painter and you're making loads of um, paintings on canvas, um, you can really work anywhere around the home, but of course you need to find a, a place in the house where you can store the paintings nice and neatly and safely. So um, it's about where you, you have to think about where you're going to work and also how you're going to store the artwork. So it's a bit of both. If you want to work large scale, but you do not have the space, then you can um, hire out spaces where you can do you know, your, do art, make art, and um, and then um, of course you need to find a place where you can store it. Um, so yeah, so just think about those two. But of course, you could you don't necessarily need a lot of space to make art at all. Do you have a workshop at home, like an office or a room? I do have my art studio and I am in my art studio now, I'm filming um, and it's not a huge size room, it's a good size room and this is where I do most of my artwork and film for um, for YouTube. Yeah, so yeah, I, I am very lucky to have a space where I can work. Can anyone be an artist or must you be born with the talent to be an artist? 
This is my personal opinion. I think anyone can be an artist. So if whatever you want to do in life, I believe if you give it 100%, if you do your best, if you work at it, it might take you a bit longer than other people, but if you work at it, you can become it. So if you can become an artist, because that's truly in your heart, that's what you wanna be. But of course, some people are born with skill. So, um, you know, to be an artist. So for instance, you know, some people are mathematically minded and they think, with numbers just like someone you know can think very creatively and be naturally creative so i think you can be naturally creative but uh, in some ways you are born with the skill as well so this is my personal opinion anyway um next question i want to study art um but my mum says that there's no money in art and that i shouldn't study art any tips on how to convince her, what to do? Okay, so this is a bit of a tricky one. A lot of people face this. And even me, when I was thinking of studying art and design um, in college after finishing my GCSEs, I was like, I'm not sure how I'm gonna approach my parents and tell them what if they're not okay with it because my older brothers and sisters had studied business and um, subjects like that. So when I was just, you know, gonna approach my dad and mum and tell them, dad, mum, I wanna do art. I was a bit nervous. I wasn't sure how they were gonna react, but they were completely fine with it. They were like, yes, you know, basically go for it, you know. So thankfully uh, they were very encouraging and they supported me uh, throughout my career. So if you're not sure about how to approach your parents, um, if you're not sure whether you should, you know, just go for it, they might be okay with it. So if you have already kind of spoken to your family and you have already kind of expressed that you want to study art in this case and they don't seem very for it, um, you know, so what you should do is just kind of try to persuade them by explaining to them different careers and different job opportunities out there that are linked with art and design. So show them the possibilities of what's out there. And also, um, if, if you prove that you're, you're good at something and that you will get the grades and you will do well in it, um, I think that's very important as well. So um, show, show them sort of, um, sort of proof of how much love you have for the subject. So a mixture of two hopefully will help you out and will make your family realize that this is truly what you want to do. How many hours does it take for you to finish a painting? Well, um, I just wanna say that when I do a painting, when I do artwork on YouTube, it generally is very, very quick. Um, I do imagine myself kind of standing in front of a classroom, teaching a class and just, you know, doing a quick piece just to show you how to do it so you get something out of it so you know how to do that particular technique so really um i don't do it to say oh this is my style this is what i want to do this is kind of it's just kind of to benefit you and to help you lot out um so when i actually work on an art piece i like to take my time and it can take me weeks it can take me months i don't really have a time limit and i don't like to limit myself and restrain myself in time unless it's a project or um it's a commissioned piece or something that obviously i need um to do it at a particular time scale you know i have to have a time scale for it to, to finish the artwork but other than that i like to give myself time so yeah i haven't really got a particular time i just kind of do it in my own pace really which artist inspires you this is an interesting one what artist inspires me oh my god so many artists do inspire me and artists continue to inspire me and artists have inspired me at different times in my life so it's kind of hard to say this artist this is the artist that inspires me it's really hard to kind of say that because i do have so many artists that inspire me do you know what i'll do i will list few artists that have inspired me throughout my career and ones that kind of are currently inspiring me um, and of course every time I go to an art gallery or I see something you know sometimes I see something and I think oh yes I'm inspired by this you know and I kind of look up the artist and I become really interested in the artwork so um, so yeah so it's kind of hard to answer that question right now 
but that's what I will do. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this Q&A and I was going to do a giveaway but I, I'm not going to do it just yet. I hope to reach 2,000 subscribers. Once I reach 2,000 subscribers, I will definitely do a big massive giveaway. Please share my videos to as much people as you can and if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe because there's so much to come. Um, and uh, once again, thank you for watching, take care of yourself and bye-bye.